So one differentiate each of the following expression with respect to x. So a, so nine x square minus three over x square. So usually when we do differentiation, we bring the power up. So nine x square minus three x negative two. So dy over dx is equal to. So we are differentiating one by one. So 9x square when we differentiate, so 2 times 9 is 18. So x power of 2 minus 1. Negative 2 times negative 3, you get positive 6x. And then negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So here you get 18x plus 6x negative 3. So here be 6 over x cubed minus 1 over x plus 8. So again, you bring the power up before you differentiate. So x negative 3 minus 1, x negative 1 plus 8. So dy over dx is equal to, when you differentiate this, you, uh, you bring the power forward. So you just multiply with the number, with the constant in front. Negative 3 times 6, you get negative 18x. So you minus the power with 1, negative 3 minus 1, you get negative 4. So here... Negative 1 times negative 1, you bring the power forward, you get positive. So x negative 1 minus 1, you get negative 2. So if you differentiate the 1 without x, you get 0. So here, so I'm sorry, this one, we when we get the power of negative, we bring it down back. So 18x plus 6 over x cubed. So in this case, you get negative 18 over x to the power of 4 plus 1 over x squared. C, 5x plus 4, set x minus 7. So here, 5x plus 4, so set also we make it as power, minus 7. Then we can differentiate. So 5x, the one with x, we only take the number. So this one, power of half. So what we do is that we bring the power forward. So we multiply with the number in front. Half times 4, you get 2x. And then we minus the power with 1. Half minus 1 is negative half, right? Just read it. So you differentiate 7, you get 0. So this one is 5 plus 2x negative half. 5 plus 2 over x to half, which is equal to 5 plus 2 over z x. So d, 10 over z x plus 3 over cube root of x. So, also you bring the power up, right? So, before that, for the third, you can take out the third. So, x half plus 3 over x to the power of 1 over 3. So, this one is equal to, you bring the power up. So, x negative half plus 3, x negative 1 over 3. So, dy over dx is equal to, so to differentiate, you bring the power with the front and you just multiply. So, negative half times 10, you get negative 5x. So, negative half minus 1, you get negative 3 over 2, right? Plus, negative 1 over 3 times 3, you get, sorry, negative 1, right? And then, x negative 1 over 3 minus 1, you get 4 over 3, never mind, just write it. So, negative 5x negative 3 over 2. Minus, so this one would be x negative 4 over 3. So you need to bring the power down. So negative 5 divided by x 3 over 2 minus this one is 1 over x to the power of 4 over 3. So you see here, so this one is equal to, so this one is negative 5. So you see power of 3 over 2 means third x to the power of 3, so this one is minus 1 over, so power 4 over 3 means cube root, and then x to the power of 4. So, a e, x square minus 3 over x square, so you can expand, so x square, you square again, 2 times 3x minus 2 times negative 3, so, plus 2 times negative 3x times x square plus 3 over x square. So, here you get x4 and then here you get, so x and x square, you get x. So, negative 6x plus, so when you differentiate it, you get a, when 
plus so you get 9 over x square so when you want to differentiate you don't want the power to be below so x4 minus 6x plus 9x negative 2 so dy over dx is equal to so when we differentiate x to the power of 4 we bring the power forward so x is equal to 1 right so you get 4x and then we minus the power with 1 4 minus 1 is right around. So here, when you differentiate negative 6x, you get negative 6. And then when you differentiate the 1 with here, so you bring the power forward, negative 2 times 9, you get negative 18, right? So x, and then you minus the power with 1. So here, 4x3 minus 6. This one is minus 18x negative 3. So when we get the power of negative, after we differentiate, we bring it down back. So, 4x3 minus 6 minus 18 over x to the power of q. So, f 8x squared plus x divided by third x. So, we see here the third here. We can divide with this one x. So, we get 6x squared divided by third x plus x divided by third x. So, we know that third is equal to the power of half, right? So, which, let me just write x half divided by x half plus x divided by x half. So, the one you learn in index, so x, so when we divide x with x, so we need to minus the power. So, this one is x is equal to x power of 1 minus 1 over 2. So, x, so 2 minus 1 over 2, we get 3 over 2 plus x1 minus half, you get x to the power of half. So now you can differentiate. So dy over dx is equal to, so when you differentiate it, you bring the power forward. So you multiply with this one, so you can just write. So x and then you minus the power with 1. 3 over 2 minus 1, you get 1 over 2. So plus, so this one is x, right? So you bring the power forward, half, this one is 1. So half times 1, you get half. So x. So half minus 1, you get. Let's try it. So this one you can cut, you get 4. 4 times this is 12. x half plus 12 x negative half. So 12. So x to the power of half is actually set x. So plus. So we see this is negative. So we need to bring it down. So 2 x half. Which is equal to 12 set x plus 1 over, so this one is 2, x, because power of half is equal to z. So, g, 4 over 9, x cubed minus by x plus 6. So, we need to, we need the x to be up. So, 4 over 9, so x square, x cubed, will become x negative 3. So, minus pi x plus 6. So, here, let's write here, dy over dx is equal to, when you differentiate this, you multiply the power with the front one. So, you have 4 over 9 times negative 3. So, the power minus 1. So, this one is negative pi x. So, you just take what is in front, which is pi. And then, when you differentiate 6, you get 0. So, here, 4 over 9 times negative 3, you get here 3 right negative 1 so you get negative 4 over 3 x negative 4 minus pi so you see you need to bring down the power so negative 4 so 3 is below right so this one would become x 4 minus pi so h set x times 2 minus x so, third x is equal to x half, 2 minus x. So, actually, you can expand. So, 2 times x to the power of half, you get 2 x half, x power of half times negative x. So, x is equal to x power of 1, right? So, here you get minus, because this is minus, x half times x1. So, 2 x half minus, so 1 half plus 1, you get x. 3 over 2. Because when you multiply the 1 with the same power, you add their power. So now we can do dy over 
dx is equal to when you differentiate this you bring the power forward so half times 2 you get 1 okay let's just write now so and then you get x you minus the power with 1 so half minus 1 so here minus you bring the power forward so you get 3 over 2 x and then you minus the power with 1 3 over 2 minus 1 you get 1 over 2 so here 2 times half you get 1 so x half minus 1 is negative half minus 3 over 2 x half so you need to bring down the power we don't want it to be negative 1 over x half minus 3 over 2 so we see half uh, half uh, to the power of 1 over 2 is equal to set x so this one is also 1 over set x minus 3 set x over 2 or 3 over 2 set x is also okay